Welcome to our Risk Management Concepts Risk Frameworks module. It is important to select an appropriate risk management framework for your organization. Risk management is a complex activity and risk management frameworks can assist you in the process of designing and implementing, monitoring and reviewing your risk management in your organization. These frameworks can help you to determine your risks and align them with your business strategies make appropriate decisions based on risks, to reduce your operational surprises and losses, and can also help with identifying and managing several different risks and sometimes cross enterprise risks. Here we have a generic risk management process. Risk management planning is our first step in the process. This is important to remember for the CISSP examination because just like many other processes, you have to plan for the process before you begin the process. Once our planning is complete, we will then identify our risks, then analyze and prioritize the risks using both qualitative and quantitative risk analysis. Once the analysis is complete, we can then plan on how we will respond to the risks. Once planning is complete, we will then execute by placing our controls to reduce our risk. We will then evaluate the effectiveness of the controls and identify any areas for improvement and then begin the process again. A proper risk management process involves continuous improvement where we are constantly learning how to improve our risk management and this is a best practice for any organization. We can also see that communicate is in the middle of our process. It is important that all individuals involved communicate throughout all of the steps of this process. Here we provide just some risk assessment and management models that you can use in your organization. The NIST Special Publication 800-30 Revision 1 is the United States government's guide to conducting risk assessments. They also provide a guide for applying the risk management framework to federal information systems and a guide for managing information security risk. Octave, or the Operationally Critical Threat, Asset, and Vulnerability Evaluation, is a suite of tools and techniques that you can use for risk-based information security strategic assessment and planning. The CRAM Risk Analysis and Management Method was developed for the United Kingdom's Central Computer and Telecommunications Agency, or CCTA. The SOMAP Security Officers Management and Analysis Project is another framework that can be used. And finally, the VAR or Value at Risk Quantile Measurement, which is a method used to measure and quantify the level of financial risk. Here we have a generic risk model with key risk factors. We start by evaluating our threat source and looking at the capabilities and the intent of our adversarial threats. The threat source will create a threat event, some sequence of actions or activities. This will typically take advantage of some vulnerability in our systems or in our facilities based on any conditions we are predisposed to and most likely violating our security controls that we have in place, causing an adverse impact on our organization, producing an organizational risk to our operations, such as our mission, our image, or our reputation, our assets, our employees, or even other organizations that we interact with or the nation as a whole. When we're moving through this model, we will take inputs from our risk framing step, which was our risk management strategy or approach, where we identified any key risk factors. We can use this model to determine how those risk factors may affect us if a threat source decides to take advantage of one of these risk factors. This concludes our risk management concepts module. Thank you for watching.